Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the Eternal Darkness and his Requiem Blind. And once again, Pinnacle messed up on me. So, yeah, as a like rather than uploading a video that had, you know, four minutes of desync, granted it was only four minutes, the rest of the video was fine, but still I would have felt guilty had I uploaded that. So, yeah, rather than upload that, I decided to just go ahead and re record this section. So, Yep, last time we got the Enchanted Sword, and... Well, yeah, pretty much I know exactly what we need to do. I finished the chapter, there's not much left to it, but... Whatever, we can still do it, so let's go ahead, get it on. We gotta open the door, that's right. Smart thing to do. Alright. So, first things first, if you examine this, you'll see that there's a little triangle there, like on the little three seal circle of power, and you'll also notice that rune right there. So, long story short, we need to, you know, use a spell that, you know, has a little three seal circle of power thing with that exact rune, and no, not right there. It just so happens to, well, first I need to get away from that, but it just so happens to be the... Summon Trapper spell. Crap. Okay. All of this seems a bit deja vu-ish, like I already did this. I mean, granted, I already... I, I technically did already do this, but in another video, I really feel like I did this and uploaded it. Ah, oh, well. We shall see. We shall see. There we go here, target that. And it's dead. Alright. And oh, trappers, okay. Oh, uh, wait, well, gotta reload, that's right. Alright. I ain't afraid of trappers. Okay. Oh, no, alright, yeah, okay, this is the stuff I need to do. Alright, so yeah, now we have a new spell right here, the Mind Spell. Mishmarage Air Attack. Let me just remember that while I go ahead and do this. Yeah, I'm just really speeding through it right now. It's like, I, I just want to get this chapter done. Pinnacle has really been screwing me over, so, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I still, like, enjoy this game, but it's just this stuff with, well, I can't really say Pinnacle Studios. Pinnacle Studios has really let me down. It's still a really good piece of editing software. It's just this Dazzle card. I, I think that's where all the problems come from, the Dazzle card itself. I need an HD PVR so bad, but I don't have any money to spend. You see my conundrum, people? Alright, so now we're right up here. And we're going to use this spell in action. Pretty much all it does is take control of an enemy and puts them on your side. Which is very useful. Are you okay? It will be useful once I have some more magic. Come on, Mike. Move them legs, boy. Right. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Come on. Time is money, and money is time. And I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh my lord, are you seriously? Seriously? Okay. Magic time. I had to, I just had to move. I just had to. Okay, um, cutting out this little waiting section. This, this is ridiculous. Huh. Recover magic? I don't even have enough magic to recover magic. Wow. Oh 
Okay, finally. Now, let's go ahead and do this. And now we watch this slow fight as they kill each other. One kills the other. Fast pace actually is. Oh! It actually was fast pace compared to last time. Alright. Thank you. Job well done, horror. Nope. Job well done. And, hey, I thought we were cool. No, no, no. For that, you die. Why am I getting hurt here? Oh, whatever. He did. No, I didn't finish him. Oh, whatever. I will finish you. Okay. So now we grab this right here. Is C4. And they are just so blatant with that at this point. It's like, okay, you, you've been through enough. No more puzzle solving. Just get to here and destroy it. And that's what we're about to do. I really have to check the previous video. If I already did this, which I really do believe I did, then I'll just cut all this out and, um, you know, just start it new. My memory is foggy right now. But anyway... With this wall right here, I was on the right track with Reveal Invisible, I just wasn't on the right track with how strong it had to be. And there we go, there's the door. Alright, I remember this room! I, I really do, considering I had to be here uh, a couple times. If we have to examine that corpse first, and oh look, detonator caps for C4, okay. We know. Alright, so now that we have that, yeah, I think I did get the C4 in another part. Oh, whatever. We're gonna mix this with the detonator caps. We got a C4 bomb. Alright. And now we gotta do this again. Nope. Shield. There we go. This magic thing. Tis making me mad. Tis making me very mad. Eh, it, it's cool. It's alright. I, I ain't mad. Oh, ye of little mana. You are a hero of light. This is ridiculous. Okay. There we go. And now, we run. Thankfully, Mike is more in shape than uh, Roberto was, so... Yeah, we still have some shield left over. But if I'm able to do all this well enough, we can get back with, you know, without even having to cast the spell again. Worms! Oh crap, nope. Yeah. Took him out with an axe. Alright. And then... Oh, there's nothing back there. Okay. Hmm, I didn't check there last time. And yeah, everything in this room says the same thing, I believe. We'll just check and see. You can't even check. Alright, whatever. But yeah, if you try to put the C4 bomb there like this, it won't work for some reason. It says like, it's not that strong. So what do we have that can make things strong? Enchant item. And we're going to need to do a 7 seal, enchant the C4 bomb. The item is now enchanted. And so... Well, I guess I can read that for dramatic tension. For centuries, evil has been channeled through this pit. Countless souls sacrificed to the darkness almost end this madness. Bomb place here would be enough to pull the already collapsed city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Yes, it would. Okay, so now we're going to use this. Mike has activated the bomb's timer. The countdown has begun. Almost in answer, a deep, low roughly begins to reverberate through the dungeon. Mike has three minutes and we're out of here to escape the Forbidden City and get to safety. Q the Metroid. 
escape music. T minus three minutes till detonation. They never did explain where that voice comes from. And nope, 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 nope. Yeah, pretty much this is the end of the chapter right here. We need to escape. Come on. Come on. The shield. Yes. You know what? Yeah, we, we have so much ammo of this left. Let's... Is that auto mode? Or... I think that's auto. Please be auto mode. Yes, it is. All right. But yeah, we don't need ammo anymore. We don't need ammo. We're, we're escaping. So I can just waste it if they get in my way. I, mean, I still have a shield too. I have no sanity, but oh god, out of ammo, out of ammo, out of ammo, out of ammo. They're screaming. There are screaming. What is wrong with me? Okay, up the ladder. Actually, maybe I should restore my sanity, because at this point it's going to start getting into my health, isn't it? And not that much, but alright, it'll do. Oh, I forgot about this cutscene. Pius Augustus all along. Ah well. He'll get his soon enough. Oh. Still escaping? Okay. Look at that. Oh god. I just want to kill him. For all the pain and misery that they gave me. They deserve it. They deserve death. And okay. Oh. That's right. I'm running over here. And we are done. Alright. And that was just lackluster as all hell. A few years later. Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now, but there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck! And so, the last of the artifacts is in Edward's possession. And my Wii sounded like it was struggling through that cutscene. My God. And again, I did drop the disc on the floor and then I just put it directly in the Wii, so I don't know, there might be some smudges or some dirt or whatever on it, but whatever, the planets are fully aligned! Amazing. And then, 
the puzzle for the observatory. And that room finally makes sense. So yeah, this is actually where um, I stopped last time. Um, you know, just right here. I actually um, did really well on time, even if I take out the seven minutes that I may or may not have already did. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. If this is like a 18 minute video, then yeah, I apparently I didn't do that part in a previous video, but if this is like, you know, a little under 15 minutes, then, you know, I, I did, and then I cut it out, but whatever, none of this will make sense. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, actually, let me go out here and see if anything changed. You know, since I'm doing rather well on time. Oh, God. Close quarters. Nope. Just swing wildly. Swing wildly. That's what you gotta do. Swinging wildly has never let me down. Except the few times it has, but... Trust me, that's far in between. See, I'll, I'll just go to the observatory then. I'll see. And... Just Zambies everywhere. Oh, wow. Alright, Alex. Go on, girl power. Alright. Just one hit. We'll just end it in the observatory. Maybe there's going to be a cutscene. Or not. Alright, so, um... Yeah. I assume this is the end game, really, because, you know, we found out that, you know, Edward had all the, you know, things in his possession. Pius Augustus revealed himself to Alex, and the planets are perfectly aligned, so... Yeah, I think everything's uh, beginning to wind down. So uh, we'll start that up next time. Well, let's play the Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. We might, like, this might be the end game. And if so, it's been fun. It's been fun. I really do like this game. But I'll save my complete thoughts for the credits. So, yeah. I, I don't know how to end this non-awkwardly. So uh, I'll just stop now. Bye.